He's <laughs> he's kind of a uh... oh. <laughs> All right. So sometimes the defenders do dumb stuff. Hey, I'm Trumps. Welcome back to the Latana Army. I'm Litz, and this is Fortnite Save the World. And today we're checking out this beast, which is the Obliterator. Now it's part of the military set, and it's a weapon that you should all get. It's one that. You know, when you start out in the game, if you're new to the game, whether you're a veteran player, this is one, if you're a veteran player, you're probably going to have this already. But it's one that's great. As sniper rifles go, this is the daddy of all sniper rifles. Now, you can see here, I've not got it fully perked up just yet. I've got damage on there, impact, physical damage on there, and then double headshot on there as well. And the perk it gives here is headshot eliminations cause an explosion, damaging enemies within 0.5 tiles for 30% weapon damage. It is just a beast. Now, one of the main reasons this is so awesome is because a lot like the Neon sniper rifle actually shoots through walls but it actually shoots with a lot more power than what the neon sniper rifle does but there's a slight nerf that's come up if we just have a quick look at this here i'll just put this up on screen for you now so you guys can see he says defenders can once again see and shoot through walls with the neon sniper i know there were some issues with that before but check this out defenders can once again shoot through walls with the obliterator if there is a wall between the defender and the husk the defender will only be able to hear the husk from four tiles away. So you've not got the, the full range of it if you're going to box him up. As a result, the obliterator is now marked as eligible for item reset. Energy cells no longer cost bacon to craft and blah, blah, and that's the rest of the stuff. But that is quite a key, well, that is quite a key part of the actual uh, makeup of this gun. One of the reasons it was so powerful is you could stick this on a defender, put an obliterator on him, especially if it was a sniper defender, put it on, put an obliterator on them, and just basically let them do most of the work for you. Okay, so I'll just turn my camera off while I quickly show you how to get that. So if we just come back out of here, and all you have to do is go to armory at the top there, go to the collection book, close that down, and if we go down here to expansion schematics, and go to military weapons, and if we just scroll down a little bit, it should be should be it's right there look so there's the obliterator there and all you do is click on this item then you'll get this menu here research schematic and all you need there is a hundred legendary flux should only take you a couple of weeks to actually get that if you just buy it up from the shop buy up the legendary flux and actually research it so even if you're a new player you can actually get your hands on one of these but let's go and get some gameplay with it i'm not going to use zenith with it who's actually the best hero because i've not actually picked zenith up which is shocking i know it's a travesty but if you did have zenith that would be the hero to use this with we're just going to use first shot real because you know favorite but we're going to check this out and see some gameplay with the obliterator stay tuned let's go and check it out okay as i said earlier in the intro zenith would be great for this but look at this with the headshots look at the damage that does that is just nuts that is absolutely insane the amount of damage this can do now you need to be better than i am and be landing a lot of your headshots most of the time but you're going to be pretty lethal <laughs> and doing insane amounts of damage with this one stay still Imagine that as a sniper. I mean, that's all you need, isn't it? And to stay still. But this is absolutely... It's so, so powerful. That's the great thing about it. Do you know what? Let's let's make a move. Let's move to another building. Okay, I've just made, like, the biggest sky bridge ever. There we go. Huge sky bridge now. But look at the range you can actually do. I mean, not that you would ever need this in a mission to fire from this kind of distance. I mean, that's just nuts. <laughs> you would just never need to fire that far. And take this precise shot. That's the only thing with this weapon. It's not really great to use yourself in a mission. I mean, can we get those right over there? Let's go and try it. I mean, they are far away. <laughs> and that is the last he knew. He was just there sleeping, carrying that bomb. And then we come along and just ruin everything. Oh, look, there's a smasher over there. Let me see if I can get the head. Oh, that's still pretty, that's still pretty punishing. And don't forget, this isn't even maxed out. This is not like God rolled per se. But look at that. That is that is pretty meaty. There we go. Now, do you know what I'm going to do? Let's build. Let's build a little box. Okay, so I made a little house to put our defender in then. So let's just put him in there and we'll put him with the obliterator. Let's give him some ammo. There you go. Confirm. And look, he's not going to do it like before he would have been taking shots now. He's actually pretty useless up here now. He's going to be... Before you could have put him there and he would have been picking off a lot of the mobs. You could have put it up here while you were getting an objective down here maybe. And he would have still been useful. Now... There, he's pretty useless. All he's actually going to be able to do is hear husks from one, two, three, four tiles away. So this is going to be about the range where he can hear from. So as long as the husk is about here, then he's going to be able to hear it. If not, I mean, I wonder if that would work if you put a window in there. Let's put some windows in and see if that makes a difference to the, to the thing. Is he going to start taking shots through the windows? You know what? We could break the whole thing. Let's see if that does it. All right, don't, don't break that. 
Okay, I want to I wanna just hit this one like in the legs. I don't want to actually hurt him. I want him to come this way. Okay, so is he going to take shots there now? Look, you can see now. You can see. Come on, guy. They're right there, look. I'm just shooting at the feet to try and coax him over this way. I want to see at what point he actually starts taking shots at him from there. Oh, there he is. He's doing it now, look. Now he's doing it. But if I were to box him in... Look, now he can't hear them. Oh, wait. So the four tiles actually works downwards as well. So he's one, two, so the three tiles down, so he's making shots at that. That's actually useful to know. But he wouldn't take the shot now if they came a little bit closer. So let's just pull them over again. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to coax them over again. <laughs> the things we do for science. All right, here they go. So if I just keep, like, just dropping a few shots over there. I'm just trying to land them but not kill him. There you go. He's on about half health. Now, before, look, he was shooting them about there. But he's not going to do it this time because it only works within four tiles. He's actually listening out for them. And he's going to shoot by listening, right? But there they are. But now, if I were to do that, if I were to move that away. Okay, so it's only when they get down to the bottom, four tiles straight down, that he starts shooting at them. So he should start shooting at this guy now. Good job. But look how powerful that is. That is just nuts. Oh, yeah. Iron Man landing. It's like I'm playing Skyblocks on Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> I've just built like little bridges everywhere. I'm gonna put the defender in here, maybe. Can I even do that? Ha! Turns out I can. So let's put the defender in there with the obliterator. And I wanna see I wanna see how effective this is. I'm not actually gonna shoot. We're just gonna watch. So he's got his little four tile radius then. I mean look at that. I mean that is just that is just powerful. Don't die. There you go, have a campfire. <laughs> We'll just revive him if it comes to it. But look at this guy. If we just put a campfire next to him, and we just let him do the work. Let's try this obliterator out on this dude. Do you know my only thing about sniping is when the target moves? Nope. <laughs> but look how effective he is. He's like super cool. They're never going to get him either. They're never going to get him from there. I could kind of walk off and do my thing now. Saying that, that would probably reset the uh, the encampment itself, right? But it's just such an effective thing. If you're doing like a, a Ride the Lightning mission, or even an Atlas defense, and you put these guys up with this weapon in particular, then you're pretty much going to boss it. It's really cool, especially if you're someone who plays a lot of solo. You know, even if you're a new player and you're playing a lot of solos, if you perk this up right, then you're going to have a ton of fun. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, well, that leads me nicely onto my next thing. This gun's actually great for destroying buildings. If you actually have a look over here, look. Look at that. It just takes out the wall straight away. Let's go for the other wall next to it. So if I shoot over here. Wall gone. As quick as that. Just one shot. Most walls. Nearly every type of wall that you can think of. It's just going to be gone. So even nerfed. This gun is so, so good. Let's see if we can uh, see if we can destroy that floor. You know, just for science and all. You've got to destroy things in the name of science. Okay, he'll protect me anyway in case anything comes. So there we go. <laughs> and there we, you can actually level entire buildings with this thing. I mean, all right, if you're using a soldier and you've got going commando, that would actually work better than this because you can fire it a lot, lot quicker. But then I guess you've got a cooldown to wait for on that that time. So that's another thing. There we go. I mean, look at that. It's just so quick to level pretty much everything that's there. You can just have so much fun with this weapon. It's just one of those guns that I just feel like everyone should learn. Let's do the Iron Man jump down onto the police car. Oh, yeah. Now, one thing about this weapon is it's not going to excel very much when it comes to being uh, close up. Just because it's so, like, it really is a distance weapon. Let's try and fire it from the hip. Yep, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, from the hip. One, it's not quick enough. It's not accurate enough. And I'm kind of just guessing. You're just kind of really guessing where you should be. No, yeah, all right. That kind of worked. It kind of worked. My example was to prove it's not good at firing from the hip. We just made it look good. Okay, he's still up there. Look, he's in full view of everything. He's, <laughs> he's kind of... Uh... Oh! <laughs> all right. So sometimes the defenders do dumb stuff. Like shoot through the floor to get a taker. So that's, that's something to think about right there. <laughs> I can't believe he actually just did that. Take a spot and then he just he just murdered himself. Oh, that was a big fall. Okay, this is about as unsafe as it gets because what I'm doing now, I'm actually just going to put him <laughs> up on a gigantic bridge. And we just saw last time, he'll, he'll quite happily shoot through the floor 
if that means he can get to his target. But a lot of the time, if you're on an atlas, for example, and you just build at the top of the atlas, you could just box this guy in, and anyone who gets onto the walls is going to actually blast away at them. And it actually works better than it did before, because rather than get distracted by something that's over here, which you're taking care of, or your ninjas are taking care of, what this guy will do, it'll just hit things that are coming up the actual ramp, so anything that's close to the base, or anything that's overrunning the, the van in Ride the Lightning, for example, then he's going to be able to take it out. I mean, this, this guy in mine kind of looks a bit like Colonel Sanders. <laughs> so we've got the Kentucky Fried Chicken Obliterator guy here. Hey, that'd be a, that'd be a good name for a, a chicken sandwich, wouldn't it, from there? Or one of their chicken burgers. The Obliterator. <laughs> okay, let's end with a Taker and a Blaster then. So there's the Taker. Damn. <laughs> I mean, some of you guys, especially you BR players, are going to love this. No. Oh, we got the Taker down. Tree for cover. Wow, that worked. Boom. There we go. Nice and simple. Tree for cover. Damn. I mean, this is way too close to be using this. Oh, that was just whoever was first to the draw. <laughs> Alright then guys, I'm going to leave it there for now then, but let me know in the comments down below what your favourite military weapon is. I absolutely love the Obliterator, but there's other great ones in there as well. The Tiger is another one that I really like. That one gets mixed reviews, some people love it, some people just say it's not worth it anymore, because there's better weapons that do a similar job that fire faster and harder. I just like the feel of the actual Tiger, it just feels great on most of the heroes but let me know in the comments below what your favorite military weapon is massive massive thanks for watching if you're not part of the latana army already make sure you hit that subscribe button and to those of you using the latana code i just want to say a massive massive thank you it's been a huge bump in people using uh, our creator code at the minute and that just means a lot to me that's just been really really helpful so a massive massive thank you for that and i will catch you guys on the next video thanks for watching guys